Well, I wasn't saying much. Hello, thank you for watching, and I'm sorry I'm not very talkative in this video. I'm not feeling exactly okay, and I'm basically home doing not much. Just decided to fly to get my mind off the things that are bothering, which is mostly, well, feeling a bit ill, but I'll be over it. And decided to take the Mirage out for a spin. I haven't flown this bird in a long time. But I've always liked it, it's one of my, uh, well, not probably my favorite module in this year's but one of the ones I enjoy the most. And since I'm not much of a air-to-air -air fighter, I'm simply doing... Uh, ...ground strike with it. Well, as you can see, the aircraft itself is, well, quite simple. It's a mixture of more modern equipment and older one. Uh, it has a HUD, which makes navigation and other tasks a lot easier. It has a radar, which we need to put to emit. I forgot to do that, but since I'm not doing air-to-air, -air, it's not that important. Uh, here we have the weapons panel, uh, bombs release configuration panel, inertial navigation system, countermeasures, radios, lights, uh, start start up and booster pumps. That was a fuel panel. 
And on the left here we have the throttle panel, radios, radar control, and a few other systems. As you can see, the system has a boom uh, located right here. Uh, it's basically for air-to-air -air refueling. This plane is capable of performing air-to-air -air refueling. And we've approached our waypoint. Now we can also set the destination to zero. Give me this destination, we can put it to zero three. Well, I don't know what happened to my third waypoint. But let's see. Prep zero three. Destination zero three. I have forgotten at last how to use this uh, this aircraft, so we're about 8.9 miles from, no, so a six point. Anyway, the next waypoint is in a general that way direction. We're not going to follow it now, but we need to start descending. Uh, it's a ground strike waypoint, so... We're gonna put the aircraft in a shallow dive and let's see what's up with our INS. Anyway, there's our waypoint. I have already located it. We're about 11 miles, nautical miles from the second waypoint. We're gonna start diving. And since we haven't dumped our external fuel tank, we won't. Or let's actually. We're gonna engage emergency jettison. We're gonna choose the RP, which is the master arm on. And we dump we choose our bombs and we've already set the interval for uh, so we're gonna drop basically all of our eight bombs on the target which is that runway there in the distance I've been trying to practice CCIP bombing on that for a very long time with different birds. We're gonna try to come in a bit shallower, or actually a bit deeper dive. Okay, no solution. I think we're a bit low for CCIP bombing. Yeah, we were a bit on the low end of altitude. And look what I forgot. I forgot the countermeasures, but since we're not using them, I didn't see the need to put them on. So yeah, we need to be about 4,000 feet. Uh, this plane uses Imperial system. And this is in knots, the speed. Now, weapon systems wise, we also have a couple of uh, Matra Magic air to air heat, heat seeking missiles that we can use, but there are no air targets, so we will not be using them. Also, I'm not really good with air-to-air -air combat, as I mentioned. I have tried using them before on 
AI opponents. And well, once I played multiplayer, I actually shot down a friendly aircraft with my missiles. So, yeah, that wasn't very nice of me. Now there's the airport. Okay, we are actually co we climbed quite high. Okay, so we need to be between four two thousand and four ten thousand and four thousand feet. I'm gonna come a bit to the right of the runway in a shallow dive. Might not be the most accurate bombing run, but it's just practice, and you're of course watching along, so that's always nice. There should be a pipper showing up at some point, and again, we came a bit too low. I need to find the right angle to to drop these bombs. I mean, we have enough fuel. I'm not worried about fuel, but Also, this plane is very stable. I would actually recommend it if you want to try it. It's one of the more stable aircraft to fly in this year. I'll admit, this plane is actually not exactly a strike craft. It's actually more or less like a, it's an interceptor, but I use it as a strike craft. I mean, who can blame me? I play the game however I like. Now let's try if we can do this with a shallow dive. This is something I've been meaning to actually succeed with, but haven't been very successful. Uh, the beeps you hear are the countermeasure systems telling me that there's there are basically radars pinging me constantly there's an a50 a friendly a50 basically it's a Russian AOX and there's also I think an e3 Hawkeye flying around also the ground radars there are plenty air defense systems on this map uh, this I initially intended to work it out as a well, training map, but again, I'm not being very accurate here. And this is not long, letting me drop the bombs. I have actually. Uh, Mark 82 S's, I think. I don't remember what S was for. I think it's the snake eyes. Uh, it's the high or low, tra no, the high track bombs. Yeah, let's climb up. So yeah, please bear with me, we're gonna be at this for a while until I manage to actually get the right position to start dropping the ordnance. I'm not even touching the trigger at the moment. I'm simply trying to get the right angle to 
drop these because I'm trying to do a almost horizontal pass over the target. I usually dive bomb with these, but probably they're not for that. Oh, anyway, feel free to correct me. I'm, I could be stupid again as usual. Well, I can be quite an idiot, so. Also, I haven't watched any of the tutorials, I admit. Okay, let's see if this works with a shallow dive. That's about five, five degrees. Okay, maybe a bit more. Six thousand feet. Gonna reduce the ver yes, vertical speed, and again we can't drop them. I'm just wondering why. Because if I go, yeah, if I go too steep, obviously I'm gonna crash. So yeah, this is the snake. I just did a Google search on my other monitor. So if I want to do low-level bombing, okay, I don't know what that was, but To be honest, I don't even remember what I loaded. Is it Mark 82 or Mark 82S? it without yes without the thing the plane appears to be in one piece now we can actually continue our turn And I guess we can return to zero one. Thirty three kilometers. And we have an ILS on the destination airport. This is the airport we took off from. This is pretty low level flying, probably not the best idea, but 
32 actually miles to the airport to the waypoint then we're gonna turn into the airport uh, that thing is about about 16 miles from the waypoint one Let's slow down a bit, we don't need to go that fast. 28 kilometers. And if we quickly check our F10 map, which is, by the way, a very good tool to have in the game. I haven't written these down, normally I do, but... Yeah, that's us, and that's a... IL-76M. This is another Mirage. This is channel 44. I think we are more interested in... Which airport was it? Is it the little one? Yes, it's it's Kobuleti, yes. And the ILS is 11150 for one way 7. Alright, so let's switch this to... Takan. So basically, we can look here, now using the Takan radio navigation system, uh, we're no longer using the waypoints, we're going to land at the smaller airport nearby. And distance is 10.1, and it's in a general direction to our right. And it's ILS was 11150 for runway 7, so that's the runway going east. I'm also attempting to visually identify the airfield here. Yes, there it is. Okay, so we're gonna enter the pattern from here and we're gonna set the ILS to. 11150 and here we're going to set this to approach the HUD will change nomenclature and we're going to get your speed There's the airfield, so we're gonna come basically from the sea towards land and try to let's reduce the speed a little bit and pull the nose up. Because we want to decelerate we're about 4,000 feet. Not the correct pattern entry altitude, but. Three hundred and twenty-four knots. We're gonna cut off the speed a little more, and we can see here on this. Uh, sorry about that. On this indicator here, that the station is about nine, nine nautical miles behind us. By station, I mean the airfield's Takan station. And we're gonna go 
let's see, distance is 12 miles. Okay, should be enough for us to lose altitude and bleed off some more speed. Now, these planes have a big problem at low speeds because it's a delta wing. So delta wings kind of have that issue, but I'm sure we'll manage. We are on approach mode, so we have to identify the island. Uh, this plane does support the localizer, so it does work well, but plays well with localizers. 13 miles, and we're going to turn in slowly. Uh, we're not going to the main airfield. I don't see the reason why we should go to it, but... Okay, we're going more or less in the right direction, since the TACAN indicator is telling us that there's the runway. Okay, we can speed up a bit so we don't lose as much altitude. We have this on approach, and I think the other mode was fall, which was, no, this was something else. Approach, and let's keep it that way. We're going a bit too fast there. It's heading 070. Let's deploy the air brakes. I mean, it ha the plane comes with air brakes, so. When we go about beneath 200 and. We're going to engage the landing gear. I'm actually flying very slow for a delta wing configuration. Now this is. increase our drag this is a bit high approach I think let's try to keep speed because we, we need to maintain lift since it's a delta wing I came in a bit high. Maybe I should do a go around. Yeah, let's do a go around. Go around. Let's climb to 1200. This is fairly low land, so it's not a problem. Let's maintain it here. Okay, so from 060, we're gonna do a turn to the left. And the goal is to bleed off airspeed while maintaining altitude. I do not have rudder pedals, so I'm flying basically with twisting joystick. That's 90 degrees, so we're gonna go to 330. But we can turn fast enough, so I think we're gonna go uh, directly to 270, well, opposed.
three two zero, I think. Or am I mistaken? Yeah, there's the airfield we need to turn more. Well, my pattern was a bit wide here. We shouldn't be climbing to 2,000 feet. We should be at about 1,500 feet. Yeah, this is about right, 270. Now we're gonna fly out to sea a little bit, then we're gonna do another left turn. I'm using the left hand pattern here. Uh, actually, this plane is so stable I can even take my hands off the stick. It will just fly itself for the most part. Let's see if I remember if there was a let's just use the TACAN as a point of reference. Fuel situation is quite good. And turn. And I'm using the rudder slightly here too. Have it maintain altitude. Uh, if you see the width of smoke just off my HUD, that's an aircraft carrier. It doesn't really do anything, it's just sailing around. And I need to turn until I have the TACAN at my 90 degrees because I'll be using. Not the TACAN, sorry. The ILS station. I don't remember which one is. How to use the ILS, but the plane does come with one, so
Uh, now we need to find the airfield. According to this, the station is a bit to our right. Now I'm trying to visually find the airfield. This is Copoletti and yes, we're going straight into it. Alright. There's the airfield itself. Let's turn slowly. Drop the speed by a little bit. And try to land on one zero seven. We do need to lose more speed, but... Ah, this is not my best approach. This one was kind of winged, to be put it that way. Let's try to line up the nose. There we go, it wasn't my best landing. It was pretty bad actually. But anyway, thank you for watching and I hope to be able to make more of these videos soon. Thanks a lot and bye bye. See you in the next one.